the push pins are going to do is they're going to hold the track in place until the caulk has a chance to set. Okay, and then on to the next step. Alright, and the next thing we're going to do then is we're going to solder the joints. Now, for those of you who might be wondering why would I want to solder the track together, one, it gives a good conduction, and secondly, it keeps the track from coming apart or causing a kink, which will derail your cars, believe me. Do not shortcut this one. So what you want to do is you want to heat the rail up and the joint, but do it without melting the ties. Just hold it there against your waiting force the solder to start flowing. Okay. The next thing we'll be do will be attach the next switch. All right. I got the next piece here for the switch to go in between the cro first crosser or the second. I already have custom cut this then. And the next thing you need to do for this is then. these in. In fact, actually, um, thank you. Um, yeah. Rail joiners are longer than I thought. The next thing I need to do is just cut off a little bit of plastic off it. What I'm doing is I'm trimming the ties off. And as I think I may have stated before, but I'm going to say again, do not throw these away. Because you will need them. And all you do is just slip the joiners. want your pliers. They're real handy for making adjustments. Okay, and then the next set of joiners. Too 
course, certainly. Pull this out. That's why it's always imperative that you try to trim as much ties off as you can. That way you don't have to Inside the joiner and not hanging above, as I've shown that it can happen. All right, and that looks good. All right, next thing I'll do then is I'll pull these back out a third time. And one thing that I do, you don't have to do this, but I do it is when I put the latex caulk down, I mark very heavily where the throw rod is. That's important because you don't want to jam that with caulk. Because what will happen is it'll jam the throw rod, it'll stop working. This is regular old latex caulk. Very simple, easy to use. Any kind of applicator, this is a piece of trash. As long as you get it smoothed down so it doesn't bubble up between the ties. I also want to state that I am no any by means claimed expert. These are just ideas that I've gotten from other people that have done this before. Just like with my main layout, I'm not an expert. I don't even know if my layout works impressive. I really don't care. It's what I like. Same with this. I'm not a claimed expert. This is just the way I know how to do it. There are better ways. I mean, I know there's better ways. There's all kinds of ways you can lay it to your track. There's no set rules to how to lay it. The real trick is just keeping it level so that the engines don't fall off, the cars don't fall off, and the trains don't derail. And then same as last time. Dual push pins. And in fact, you could actually use these push pins where on your ballasting the track to keep it in place once the ballast is down. Just hammer them back in, and then once the ballast is dried, it'll actually glue the track. Essentially, it'll glue it there permanently. Okay. Now, the next thing to do is. Since this piece of track is close to what I want to do for the siding, what I'm going to do is go ahead and use it I'm using a pencil. I'm going to go ahead and mark the end of track so that when Get a cup of Dremel. Those marks right there. What to do? Just like that. It's your choice if you use the rail nippers or use the Dremel. I prefer the Dremel because, like, as you just saw right there, it slices through like butter. And then 
Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the rail joints on the end. Now what's going to be a little different about this is you saw me soldering the joints. on the uh, straightaways after I already attached it but the difference is this time on this piece here because it's on a curve I actually have to go ahead and lay the caulk ahead of time track but not enough that it'll come it'll come up through the ties. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slip the rail joiners into the piece of track like so. But one thing that you do not want to shortcut on is when you go to lay this, do not bend the track until you have soldered the joint. Make sure it gets nice and hot. You want the solder to run. You don't want it to... bubble up or... You want it so it holds the joints when you get them down the curve. Okay. The next 